Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. If you did not subscribe yet, please do so that help the channel tremendously and help us grow. Show you more videos on what we do here. And I have a lot more videos coming up, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a really nice story to tell you. You want to know about my battery, how I maintain them, how I make them work, how I use it for the electricity, the local electricity. I'm currently off grid. Okay. I'm currently off grid, guys. This is my regulator. Let me go outside to show you the panels, so how this thing works. Okay, guys. Let me go outside to show you the panels. Don't forget to subscribe if you did not uh, if you did not subscribe yet. That help the channel. Subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. Okay. Share, comment, ask question. I'll be happy to answer all your questions, guys. Guys, this is the first group of panels. The two in series. The other two in series combined together. This two in series give you about eight, nine, eight to nine amps. The other two give you the same thing, 8 to 9 amps. You put them in parallel, that gives you a total of 18. You got the same thing here, guys. You got the same thing here. Two in series. The other two is in series. You mesh them together, bring them in parallel. That gives you about 18. Between this 18 plus this 18, you got 36, guys. Sometime next year, you're going to see them on the top of the roof here. I'm going to put them the exact same way. 18, 18, I'm going to put... At least on the top of the roof, we will have uh, 18 plus 2 plus, plus 9. That'll give you about 30, 26 on top of the roof there, guys. This is where I'm going to put them. Okay, folks, when the battery, when the power coming in, they, they sometime I can get to 30 amps. But I have seen with four panels, 18. I had uh, six panels mm -hmm. one time. I saw 24. So I haven't seen... 36 combined together. I have not seen that because the panels are not well not well placed for you to get all the power there. But that's in the process. Right now, let me show you what this thing works. This is Bluetooth, guys. Or Wi-Fi, however they call it. They call it Wi-Fi. This works. I'm gonna show you my tablet. This is my tablet, guys. This is the software. You go click on it, it says make sky blue. And it's pop up to it. This is my battery. Voltage, so the solar, batteries, power from the solar, your 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 amperage, the, the, your amperage you're charging to the battery. Okay. I can turn it off here, turn it off, turn it back on here. I can do anything on my tablet. I can change it, change the parameter. It will it would be nice if I can do this thing through the internet, like anywhere I'm in the world, but this one doesn't have that. Okay. So this is what we have here. Get out of there. This is my Bluetooth Make Sky Blue power. Let me cut it off. Turn it off. Okay. I close it. Now let's go to the batteries. Let me see if I can get the batteries for you first. Okay. Let me reboot all the converter, all of the BMS. Now I got I got three BMS on the batteries. I'm trying to get the one. The one to the top. Let me see if I can get it again. Sometimes it's a nightmare to get them, guys. This is the problem I have, guys. I've been trying to log in to this, the first BMS. It's giving me a hard time. Okay, you said it's strong, it's connecting. Then it's gonna give me an error. This is the problem. You have the fake, the imitation from China. You got that problem, guys. Now the best way to fix it, see, it's not gonna come on. The best way to fix it, guys, you just unplug it, plug it back. You're gonna see, it's gonna, it's gonna go in there. Okay, guys, I went and plug it and plug it back. That's giving me funny numbers. Okay, guys, I bring the software back in. The funny numbers are the way it is. Let me go fix that for you guys. This is unplugged. I'm gonna plug it back. You're gonna see the number coming out okay. Plug it back and disable it. Because this pack has a high voltage, it's gonna take charge from it. That's why I didn't let it go. Okay, guys, I leave it on. All they're gonna remain the same because all those all those batteries is fully charged. No big deal. Now let's get the tank back again, guys. This is a problem with that BMS. That BMS is funny like that. I need the second, the first one. Okay, he's looking at it. 
Let's see what happened, guys. This is taking about the full minutes, and I've been working on it, trying to bring it up. Okay, guys, I got the 14 cells. This is what it is. There's no charge coming out of it because that's how it is. It's, it's a 4.7. No charge coming out of it. Everything, everything is fine. Okay, everything is fine. Because the battery is fully charged. All the batteries is fully charged. The tab is at 57. Now, this is the BMS we have going on, guys. This BMS in there. And let me show you. This BMS is not that, it's not that great. But it does the work. But you got a lot, a lot of work. You got to help a lot. So you got to come in and plug it. Sometimes you refuse to connect. Because they, they have, what you call this thing? They have this thing inside of it. The dangles. I get, I reach it from the house. I do, I do reach the, this BMS in the house. Okay. I do. So, so when it's, when it locked, got to come back here and plug those, plug them back again. Then we get access to it again. But you cannot try to to change anything inside the BMS. It doesn't like it. Every time I do that, it's just locked. Okay, this is the first pack. This is 186650. Okay, I got 40 on each. 40 or 44, I don't remember exactly. 40 or 40p or 40, 44p. I think it's 44p. 44 battery on each pack. Okay, so that's 14 of them. That's why we got 14s. So I have this meter here. I'm done with this. I can disconnect this. Okay, I disconnect that, guys. See the battery went back to 55. The bottom one is 55. We're gonna go to it in a few minutes. I use this this inverter. Okay, it's fully connected. I can turn it on right now, but that, that has nothing plugged nothing plugged into it. This inverter can take the power from the AC unit, AC output 112 volt, 110 volt AC. It will charge all the batteries. Okay, for the local grid. Okay, and I have, let me switch this thing back on for two seconds. I'm also afraid to turn this thing back on. Hey, this thing is working. Wow. <laughs> this panel wasn't working at all since this thing got here. Now it is working. Do not know why. <laughs> for the first time, the panel is working. So it's constant four amps and it's not connected to anything right now, but it's connected to the to the main to the AC to the DC power. Okay guys. For the first time I see this thing turn on. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's the plug or something. I do not know. For the first time it's turned on. Okay, you see that noise it makes? When the fan turns on, it makes a lot of noise, guys. But I was using this thing for the summer. Inside the house, I went my AC on it, my heavy duty stuff on it. I had never pushed it to the limit because I spent over a hundred bucks for this thing. I don't want to lose it. And I know this, I know this, this is power jack inverter. I know how they fell. So, I mean, so far this thing has been running for more than six months. I think this is doing good. More than six months, more than four months nonstop is work, working good, guys. So far, so good. Nothing brand, but the fan. This thing draw without the fan. You see, four amp on one, six amp on the other one. It's about ten amp. This thing taking out of this battery. Okay, shut it off. We don't need that. I can't believe this thing's working. <laughs> it wasn't working at all. Look at my videos. This thing wasn't working at all. Let me see if it wasn't a fluke. It was not a fluke. Don't know what happened. Now I have this meter here. I'm supposed to have it inside there. Because I'm going to have a glass door. Guys, I don't know if I said that before. This is the third time I'm doing this video. Hopefully. This is the last time. Okay. Now I have this pack here. So this pack is done. I'll unplug it. Now I have these batteries. Just plug in. This is the BMS number one. This is about 7 kilowatt. I think this is 7 kilowatt. One of these days, I'm going to do a test. I'm running the whole thing without no power coming in. Disconnect this. See how much juice I have from all the pack of battery. How much, how many kilowatt? This thing says 50. It gives you some numbers in here. I don't know if this number is accurate. I'm going to have a video on this thing here. I have to set this thing up. I have to reset it and program it, guys. Now let's go about this BMS. This is about, this is about 14 pack here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14 pack here, guys. 14 pack. The other one, the bottom one is 13 pack. I think each pack is about 5.5 kilowatt. I think we got 14 that's 
the seven pack the other one is six and a half six and uh, this one i believe is seven according to this according to my numbers is six and a half so we have it's about 20 pack 20 20 it's about 20 kilowatt in here okay let's talk about this let's go to the bms guys it's always good to get the bms the breaker is nice also because you i can disconnect the breaker from the main system still work on this without any problem i can do the same thing on each pack okay let's go to the first bms okay guys let's go quick okay get to the next one okay this bms is not bad it goes straight there whichever you can one you pick okay i have a self is 2.7 that's when this thing start charging and now you're gonna start trying to balancing you see guys you're trying to balance and the first pack it start charging by itself so i don't have to do anything it does it itself okay you're gonna take charge from the other one this you can program the other one you cannot program this you can program there's a parameter there okay you can change the parameters i believe i changed the parameters it works because this is a better bms let's look at the picture of the bms guys guys this is the bms you see it says jdb bms compared to the other one this one here you can tell this is a copy it's a copy if it is in chinese it's a copy in china you can do that copy somebody else stuff and use it no issues this one is better guys this one is better okay this one is horrible i have to unplug this all the time i have to unplug this all the time guys this is the parameter let's get out of it okay it's balancing the battery if you tap in this thing twice it to get close the software now i'm going to open it again to get the other one it doesn't give me all four all three of them together there's another software out there that give you all three of them together guys That's the, that's the drama I gotta go to. Okay, so let me do a refresh. I refresh and I gotta get the second one. He wanted out. Oh, the second one pop up right away. That's the second one. Because I named them. You see? Two. Okay, guys. Right now I'm using some, something. I'm using the second pack. The other one is, is usually it'll take one at a time, whichever one is higher. And the other one feed and the other one. So sometime this pack of battery, that's the second pack of battery. That's the BMS. That does the same thing as this one here. The battery, the way I set up, this is about this. I believe this is 13 pack. 13. I put too much space between them. Okay, guys, I'm bringing all the battery. This is about 4P. I'm trying to bring one, which is, uh, which is about, uh, I believe is 8P. In the future, I have to figure out how to do that. So in the time being, I may have it in, in my home country. Because I need the power in my home country more than here. Okay, guys. So to make it this battery, that's what you got here. Okay, they have a parameter. You can change things in there. You, this allows you to change things. This program allows you to change things, guys. So another way is I can change things here. You got the dango. This one has a dango also. When I switch either one of them on, you see the dango turn on. Okay, now next, if I close the software, guys, if I, if I close this, the dango will take, take cut off. So I can check everything on the BMS. Which is very good when you are inside the house. You want to go back in the garage to check anything. You don't have to go open the door, do this, do that. So everything is right at your fingertip. This is the updates of my system. I talked to you about this, these guys before. Now I have this inverter that I use most of a lot. Pretty nice inverter. It does the job. You guys talking about this inverter. I used to have another one plug in. I want to use this thing at night for the TV, which burn barely electricity. It burns barely amp amps. So, but in the morning, I have to go and plug this to plug the other one. I feel like doing none of that. So, I just get something bigger. This one. This one is a 2000 watt. 
I had the previous one if you watch the video the one of the, I killed one of them <laughs> because I had I had them over I had over 26 26 2600 watts going to uh, to it so he burned I ship it back and they send me another one yeah, this one I haven't come close to past it 25 watts because I don't want to but this thing works 100% guys it does the job it does the job will I recommend this well let's see how long it lasts give me six more months then I will recommend it this is how I get my setup it's coming from there because this is temporary guys I, I will use a 10 gauge wire this is 10 this is a 12 gauge wire bring it in here and ship it to the house okay for the time being this inverter gonna be shipped out so that's why I have this inverter so this is my system guys I have two inverter this guy is this guy this guy is heavy duty inverter and I do laundry stuff actually this inverter does laundry also this one for the ACs for the washer for the dryer everything is heavy in the house I use this okay I have two type of pack this is this is 26 650 this is LIFO this is I lithium ion battery lithium ion battery LIFO I have BMS I have breakers and all of them so I can disable like right now this thing is disabled I can do any type of work in this without even worry about the electricity because this the, I fully alimented it okay guys until then subscribe if you didn't do so comment it you have seen this video this, this is an update from going off grid for more than four months guys until then see you later